Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll share you my top settings that you should be changing when you have turned on this device for the first time or basically even if you are using this device already, these settings will enhance your user experience and basically makes it really awesome to use as well. So consider it as a tips and tricks video of the Note 9 series. So this will be a part one. I'll be making a lot of interesting videos about this device as well as comparing it with others. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel, like and share the video with your friends to support my work. Alright then, without wasting any more time, let's begin with the video. So while you are on the home screen here, just go to the settings and here you should be able to find the display and if you tap on display once again and here you will find the screen resolution. See screen resolution is by default set to full HD plus that means it is not utilizing the quad HD and you are not actually viewing the visuals in quad HD is glory that's why you need to change the full HD plus to WQHD plus that's basically the quad HD display in all its glory at 2960 by 1440 pixels of awesomeness so once you have done that just tap on this done and boom now you have got the full glory samsung amoled panels beauty is shown here with the quad hd display otherwise you have pretty much the same display nowadays that you get with the budget phones except for the fact that they are lcd ips displays now you have the amoled panel utilizing to the fullest at quad hd display but then why they have given these two options is that if you want to save some battery say that your battery is at around 20 percent and you want to extract that battery use it for a couple of days then what you can do is manually change this to hd plus or even full hd plus and that way at least you could get some juice out of the battery remaining so that's why they have given the options which is really awesome while you are in the display itself here what i would suggest you to also do is to go to the screen mode here and in screen mode as you can see you have got the adaptive display amoled cinema amoled photo so amoled photo is for accurate colors basically it uses dc ip3 uh, color gamut so that's really important if you are doing a lot of photo editing and stuff but still for the viewing pleasure i would suggest i would recommend you to just tap on this adaptive display itself but what you can also do here is if you are feeling that the display is really cool then you can actually make it a little bit on the warmer side or you can individually change the colors of the display as well so say that the reds are actually more red than what you expect then you can a little bit slightly reduce the red color so that's how you can change the saturation of the color here and get the most accurate display out of your phone there is also blue light filter if you are reading a lot of stuff and actually not uh, watching any video visual contents then you can actually on this blue light filter which is also available in the notification setting over here if you just tap on this blue light filter it will be activated and it also consumes less battery so that's how you can use the blue light filter All right, moving on the second one you have to change is look out for this edge panel if you just swipe like this you have got the quick toggles quick tools that you can utilize to the fullest that's what the note series are very powerful and very convenient to use actually and that's how we can do it you need to set it up for the first time if you have bought the phone new and turned it on for the first time so here as you can see there are quick tools that i have already set up so in order to set this all these things if you just swipe like this you have got the uh, rectangle basically you can actually take the screenshot in rectangle shape or oval shape and you have the gif animation so if there is anything over there you can pretty much convert that to gif that's awesome you can pin to screen something that you are interested to keep it or save it for later use you can actually pin to screen so all this can be obtained by by going again to the settings here so once you are in setting just go to display and if you scroll down you have got the edge screen so just to tap on this edge screen and as you can see it shows a little animation it gives you how to set up the edge screen and wherever you want you can set it up for example if i tap and hold like this the edge screen i can basically uh, shift that to downwards or say wherever you want to, uh, at the corner of the screen so now you have to turn on this edge panels edge lighting is also on basically if you have any notifications if you get any messages the edge will be lit and it uh, really looks cool as well 
and if you just tap on this edge panels here you have got all the customizable tools and you can actually sort out based on your priority for example if you are using a lot of people edge then you can move that to the top here to leftmost that way you can also arrange you have got smart select quick tools clipboard edge to read some news if you have taken anything if you have taken the screenshots you can pretty much keep it as a quick toggle as well and you have got the reminder device maintenance task search weather calendar samsung internet sports cnn news finance samsung members and music player as well so all these can be set based on your preference based on your convenience and that is how i have actually set if i just swipe like this from wherever you are you'll get the these shortcut keys that I have set already from here so I can actually call using the people edge instantly call to a person or message I can actually instantly open the gallery so that way it's really convenient say that you want to calculate you are in the middle of something and you want to instantly calculate so use this calculator just tap and hold and drag and leave it on the screen here you'll get this little pop-up where you can basically arrange the size of this as well so that you can use it to calculate if you can just tap on that so you can move it anywhere on the screen and then later also you can again use that continue using that so that's how you can use this function and it's really handy and really useful feature which is called the edge panel so you swipe like this and utilize all the features you have quick edit here as well so you can basically edit and whatever you want you can put it over here the be it the contacts be it anything that you want to edit so if you are in the applications you can add more applications if you just tap on edit so whatever app you want to add you can add you can even pair the apps so that multitasking is really breeze on this note series so that's how you can utilize it to the fullest. So this was the second setting that you need to change on your Note 9. All right, moving on. Next thing you want to do is to uh, basically activate the secure folder, the Knox feature that Samsung offers, which is really awesome and very convenient to save uh, anything that matters you the most. Basically your private documents, images and all sorts of that can be stored on a secure folder and that's how it is if you just uh, move to the apps section here just tap on the secure folder so from here if you just tap on start for the first time you have to confirm and sign into your samsung account and once i do that it will ask for the safety feature that's the pattern pin or password lock you can also use your fingerprints iris if you have set your biometrics i will also show you in this video how to set your biometrics basically your iris scanner be it the facial recognition, be it the fingerprints and all sorts of that. Just uh, pet and watch. So here's the pattern. We shall set the pattern here. So just a simple pattern. You can set whatever pattern you want. And once you have chosen the pattern, so now it is creating secure folder. It takes a couple of minutes. So there you have it. Your private own secured box. And here you can, from here you can log, you can add apps, you can add files, edit application. So whatever you browse through all this here will remain private. So allow location information to be shown, not needed. Now whatever you throw at it, it will be moved to the secure section. So to add files, you have the add file section here. If you just tap on add files, say I want to add some images. Say that I want to add these two images here. I just tap on done and move files or copy them so you can have a copy of that in your secure folder you can also move that from that gallery to over here so that it will not be visible over there and it will be moved to your secure gallery so if i just tap on move now two files will be moved to secure folder so if i just take back and it will be on to the normal screen here and if i want to go again so just tap on the secure folder and boom there you have it so as you can see it did not ask me for the pattern now so to do that you have to just tap on this and go to the settings here auto lock secure folder just tap on this immediately so what happens now is if i just revert back to the home screen normally and when i move to the secure folder it asks me for the pattern so secured by Knox. now you have to use your pattern if you have forgotten you will be you'll get an email to your email account samsung's email account so from there you can unlock the 
secure folder now you can add the files just like i showed you can edit applications you can add more apps if you want so if you want to actually transfer the apps into your secure folder only you can access the app so that way you can also do that that's a really nice handy feature i would say calendar contacts camera uh, so all sorts of that is available on the secure folder this will be your private folder that you can safely store anything inside it and here as you can see you can customize icon again if you go to settings make pattern visible so you can even make the pattern invisible so that only you know how to pattern unlock so that way you can unlock uh, notifications and data and you have also uh, apps here you can add the apps from here there is the account backup and restore more settings data usage and all other things are available for the secure folder this is just like adding a layer protection to your mobile phone so that whatever the private things you have you can store it securely inside the secure folder so that's how nice samsung has given added the features to their samsung devices all right the next thing to do is to make this a landscape mode as you can see how it turns to landscape mode which is really awesome and is available on the note 9 as you can see you can um, breeze through all the home screen just like this so basically utilize these cards to the fullest and it also looks really nice and slick as you can see the interface looks uh, in a landscape mode it's really awesome if you are uh, working on some documents and other things so it will be on landscape mode itself so that's really handy feature to so in order to get that landscape mode what you have to do is tap and hold anywhere on the screen and here you will see home screen settings just tap on it once again and as you can see here's the portrait mode only that means if this is enabled you won't be able to turn it into landscape mode just as you can see so what you have to do is just tap and hold again home screen settings basically disable this portrait mode only and now you have the landscape mode turned on so this way you can enable your landscape mode and basically use it to fullest so the next thing you want to do is to set up the biometrics and security now the note 9 offers iris scanner there is a separate iris scanner which recognizes your eyes and that way you can unlock the device otherwise you can use intelligent scan basically to use the iris scanner as well as the face recognition and along with that you can use the fingerprint and there is of course the password and the pattern so to set up for the first time you have to go to the settings here and here you will find biometrics and security just tap on that and as you can see there is a intelligent scan just like i said there is a face recognition there is iris scanner and there is fingerprint scanner now in order to set up let's uh, set up the intelligent scan first so because i have given the pattern let's confirm the pattern once and once it gets confirmed now it will ask for the disclaimer and it will say you that you have to be at least 20 centimeters away from your face when, uh, when using the iris recognition and now it will use the recognition camera as well as led that is why it takes uh, just a couple of fraction of seconds more than as compared to other devices because this will use the iris uh, separate scanner that will recognize your eyes so that's an added advantage of having this note series phone uh, maybe it's also available on s9 plus not sure about that now just tap on this ok basically you have to scroll down all the way so that everything is red here and now you have to tap on ok and just uh, tap on continue are you wearing glasses right now no if you are wearing you have to tap on yes so that's my face here so now the face has been registered as you can see and once you are on the eye the eye also has been recognized so that's very quick recognition of both face as well as eye and once you have done that it will ask now that you have registered both your face and your irises you can turn on intelligent scan which combines face and iris scanning to improve accuracy and security even in low or very bright light that way you can turn on and you can also say not now so now you have got the settings for the intelligent scan here intelligent scan unlock screen on intelligent scan you don't have to swipe first to unlock the device and there's also intelligent scan unlock unlock your phone using combined face as well as iris scanning so if you don't want to keep both iris scan as well as face and you can always disable it from here so now that we have set let's quickly see how much time it takes to unlock the device as you can see 
so it's using iris as well as face to unlock the device so this is how fast how quickly you can unlock the device using your iris scanner as well as face recognition now if you want to set up your fingerprint for the first time just again go to the settings and inside the settings biometrics and security and here you will find fingerprint scanner just tap on this and confirm the pattern once again and register your fingerprint by swiping so you have to swipe let's swipe swipe down slowly over the fingerprint sensor then repeat boom that was very quick and if you want to add more fingers you can always add here otherwise later you can come back and add more fingerprints that way you can use your both right as well as left hands to unlock your device and just tap on done so let's try it out so it tries to confirm once again if your uh, fingerprint is properly registered and once we have done that turn on fingerprint unlock because now we have turned on the iris scanner as well as face recognition so you you can either turn it on right away otherwise you can keep it off and just your iris and face will be active so this is how you set up your fingerprint scanner So the next thing we want to set up is the always on display as you know the Samsung Note supports always on display. It basically is if you lock the lock your phone there will always be a display of the time date and as well as some notifications that you are receiving. Uh, so that's how the always on display works. It consumes a little bit of uh, battery but then you have got the option if you want uh, to consider it. So in order to set up again we have to go to the settings here. So once you are in settings just tap on lock screen. And here you will find always on display you can enable and if you just tap on this here you will be able to set all the customized options that you have got here uh, for example if you want home button and clock the content you want to show for so if I just lock as you can see always on display and here you will see home screen so there is a haptic feedback that goes with the home screen button here if you just tap and hold you'll basically reach the lock screen here instead of using the lock screen button itself and basically you can customize all these things here i'll just show you in a moment so what you have to do is let's uh, unlock the device and here you can see you have got uh, only clock home button and home button and clock double tap home button just like i showed if you if you double tap the home button the screen will get on so this is how you can turn on and um, there's also auto brightness enabled show always so if you don't want to schedule your always on display say for example 7 am to 10 pm the always on display will be active and after that automatically it gets disabled again the next day at 7 am it gets enabled that way it consumes little battery than uh, if you keep it always so turn off to save battery if the battery is less than 15 percent it gets automatically turned off so that's how you can customize this and to change the clock style what you have to do is go to the settings lock screen and clock style again from here you can set the different phases of clock that you want to keep so there are quite a number of customizability available here you will find always on display tap on this so you have a different variety of always on display feature so just tap on done after choosing whatever lock you want and as you can see always on display with that uh, skin is activated so this is how you can use the always on display which is uh, uh, sort of awesome feature that's available on the note 9 so these were basically the five settings that you will need to do it when you just turn on your phone for the first time or basically uh, even now also you can do those things but that were some interesting things that you need to set up for the first time and i hope this video was helpful to you if has hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be making more useful videos on this note 9 as well as other devices comparing it with other devices as well uh, so yeah share it with your friends if you like this video uh, see you all in another one. Till then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.